Early spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful. Katie wins big. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Brave and gorgeous early weekly spoilers indicate that for the week of August 5 to 9, 2024, on B&B, Katie Logan finds the answers she's been searching for. View the most recent spoilers for the drama on CBS during the day. Early spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful. Katie Logan discovers the answers. This week, Katie Logan is determined to get the truth about Poppy Nozawa on B and B. She is beginning to think more and more that Luna Nozawa, Poppy's kid, is not the daughter of Dollar Bill Spencer. She also thinks Poppy killed Tom Starr, most likely because he is Luna's biological father. She now worries that Bill could not realize what Poppy is capable of, endangering his life as well. Katie is scared that she will use the same medicines that she is claiming to have used on Tom to hurt Bill. Next week on Bold and the Beautiful, she races to the Spencer estate to try to alert Bill. He won't listen, of course, and believes she is exaggerating. Later on, Katie receives a startling response. Then, quite unexpectedly, she confides in outcast Deacon Sharp and his wife, Sheila Carter, who is the town outcast. Katie eventually discovers what she's been looking for on Bold and Beautiful by the conclusion of the next week. She will definitely confront Poppy, but she may be in serious danger. B and B Weekly Spoilers A Panic for Brooke and Ridge Bridge is having a great time in Monte Carlo while Katie Logan, Heather Tong, works to uncover the mystery surrounding Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, and Bill Spencer, Don Diamond. As they introduce the new Brooks Bedroom website, Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, and Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K., are having a great time. They attend a news conference, and everyone is amazed by their obvious love. But when the website fails on Bold and the Beautiful, they experience a setback and become distraught. Later, they celebrate their victory and declare their love for one another so they have to get it back up and running. But Ridge and Brooke might be about to get another unpleasant discovery. Early edition of Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi and Hope's Battle. The conflict between Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messinswood, and Hope Logan, Annika Knoll, intensifies in another scene on B and B. As they wait to hear about the Brooks' bedroom line, they get into a heated disagreement. Hope has another fantasy about John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, Steffi's husband, later on Bold and the Beautiful. He's busy showing Steffi that their love is stronger than anything else in the meanwhile. Next week, B&B &B will keep the fans in suspense. Watch every moment of the CBS opera to see out what Katie Logan learns about Poppy and what she decides to do with it. Katie Logan woke up to the gentle hum of the Los Angeles morning. The sun's first rays were beginning to filter through the curtains of her luxurious apartment, casting a golden glow over her peaceful face. She stretched lazily, savoring the warmth and serenity of the moment. Life had been a roller coaster ride lately, but today felt different. Little did she know, this day would mark the beginning of a transformative journey. Katie had been through a lot over the years heartbreaks, betrayals, and health scares. Her relationship with Bill Spencer had been a tumultuous one, filled with ups and downs that had left her feeling emotionally drained. Yet, despite the challenges, she remained a resilient and hopeful woman, always seeking a better tomorrow for herself and her son, Will. As she made her way to the kitchen, the smell of freshly brewed coffee filled the air. She poured herself a cup and sat by the window, gazing out at the bustling city below. Thoughts of her recent struggles with Bill and her lingering feelings for him clouded her mind. But today, she was determined to focus on herself and her own happiness. Later that morning, Katie headed to Forrester Creations, where she worked as the PR and communications executive. The fashion house was abuzz with activity as preparations were underway for the launch of their latest collection. Katie immersed herself in work, 
finding solace in the creativity and energy that surrounded her. During a meeting with the Forrester family, Katie noticed a glint of excitement in Eric Forrester's eyes. After the meeting, he pulled her aside. Katie, I have an intriguing proposal for you, he said, his voice filled with anticipation. Curiosity peaked, Katie followed Eric to his office. He handed her a sleek, black envelope. Open it, he urged. Katie's hands trembled slightly as she tore open the envelope. Inside was an invitation to an exclusive charity auction. The event promised to be a star-studded affair, with proceeds What's going to a cause. Close. Katie asked, her excitement growing. Eric smiled mysteriously. You'll have to attend to find out. But trust me, Katie, this could be a life-changing opportunity. The night of the charity auction arrived, and Katie felt a mix of excitement and nerves. She chose an elegant sapphire blue gown that accentuated her graceful figure. With her hair styled in loose waves and adorned with delicate diamond earrings, she looked every bit the glamorous socialite. The venue was a luxurious ballroom adorned with crystal chandeliers and lavish decorations. The air was filled with the buzz of conversations and the clinking of champagne glasses. Katie mingled with familiar faces from the fashion and entertainment industries, feeling a sense of belonging she hadn't experienced in a long time. As the auction commenced, Katie found herself captivated by the various items up for bid, designer jewelry, exotic vacations, and exclusive experiences but her attention was firmly fixed on the grand prize that remained shrouded in mystery. When the time came for the final auction, the atmosphere grew electric with anticipation. The auctioneer stepped up to the podium, a sealed envelope in hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. The final item of the night is a surprise prize that promises to be truly extraordinary. Bidding started at a staggering amount, but Katie was undeterred. Determined to seize this opportunity, she raced her paddle, engaging in a fierce bidding war. The numbers climbed higher and higher until, with a final decisive bid, Katie emerged victorious. The auctioneer handed her the sealed envelope. With bated breath, Katie opened it and read the contents. Her eyes widened in disbelief as she realized what she had won a controlling interest in Spencer Publications, Bill Spencer's media empire. The next morning, Katie sat in her office at Forrester Creations, the weight of her new acquisition sinking in. She had always wanted to prove herself as a capable businesswoman, and now she had the chance to do so on a grand scale. But with this newfound power came immense responsibility. Katie knew that taking control of Spencer Publications would not be easy. She anticipated resistance from Bill and the company's board members. However, she was determined to make her mark and steer the company in a new direction, one that prioritized ethical journalism and positive social impact. She called an emergency meeting with the senior executives of Spencer Publications, as she entered the conference room, she could feel the tension in the air. Bill was there, his expression a mix of shock and disbelief. Katie, what is this about, he demanded. Katie met his gaze calmly. I've acquired a controlling interest in Spencer Publications. Effective immediately, I'll be taking over as CEO. The room erupted in murmurs of surprise and confusion. Bill's face turned red with anger. You can't be serious, Katie. This is a hostile takeover. Katie remained composed. It's not hostile, Bill. It's a strategic move. I believe in the potential of this company, and I want to make it better. We can work together, or you can choose to step aside. The choice is yours. Over the next few weeks, Katie faced numerous challenges as she settled into her new role. She encountered resistance from loyalists of Bill who viewed her as an outsider with no right to lead. But she also found allies in unexpected places, employees who were eager for change and inspired by her vision. Katie's leadership style was a stark contrast to Bill's. She fostered a collaborative and inclusive environment, encouraging open communication and innovative ideas. She implemented policies that promoted transparency and accountability, 
earning the respect of many within the company. As she worked tirelessly to transform Spencer Publications, Katie also had to navigate the complexities of her personal life. Her relationship with Bill remained strained, but they managed to find a fragile truce for the sake of their son, Will. Co-parenting required compromise and understanding, and Katie was determined to create a stable and loving environment for her child. Amidst the professional and personal chaos, Katie found solace in her friendship with Donna and Brooke. They were her pillars of support, offering advice and encouragement whenever she needed it. Their bond was unbreakable, and together, they faced the challenges that life threw at them. Months passed, and Katie's efforts began to bear fruit. Spencer Publications underwent a remarkable transformation, becoming a beacon of responsible journalism and social advocacy. The company's reputation soared, and its financial performance exceeded expectations. Katie's success did not go unnoticed. She received accolades and recognition from industry peers, solidifying her status as a formidable business leader. But her greatest satisfaction came from knowing that she had made.